No one understands me. No one ever understands me. Julie says you write for a TV show. I do. All right, so Quinn is separated from the crew. He starts to fall in love with the mysterious woman. She's tending to his wounds. Uh, they're eating the Malthusian mudslides, and... No. This... This is really dumb. This is unrealistic. Like, this idea of, like, basically Cupid making them fall in love. Like, it doesn't make sense. I have a better idea. I think I'm gonna get the rigatoni. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Uh, rigatoni is, is one of the most cost-ineffective items, actually, on this entire menu. Um, so you just like some advice, because I frequently go to restaurants, is when you are figuring out what to get, you want to find something that isn't just a travesty in terms of pricing. I mean, rigatoni costs this place 30 to 35 cents, right? Maximum 35 cents. And then they charge $17. $17 for that. Do you understand what kind of markup that is? That's like a 4,000% markup, okay? So what I am going to get is the, here we go, brined steak tips, $13.50. Well, I guess I just have a hankering for rigatoni. <laughs> okay, so the crew is trapped in the Metcus, right? Except for Quinn, who has escaped out to the planet. And there he discovers that his intellect doesn't mean anything, right? An entire planet of people just uninterested in cerebral pursuits. Oh, that reminds me. Mm -hmm. So I was out partying last night and- Partying. I, I also love partying. I am also a fan of partying, especially uh, when there's cake, right? Chocolate, double chocolate, fudge. I mean like partying, like having fun. Right. Partying means having fun. Your colloquialisms, I get it. What does colloquialism mean? Jesus Christ. They speak a language that is almost like English, right? Like maybe it has a lot of the same words and phrases, but they don't mean exactly the same thing. So like they could say river to mean fast, right? Because you know, you know like rivers, how rivers move fast. Like a fast river. I got it. Okay. You are a river thinker. They could tell Quinn. So we're not keeping anything from the episode. This is a completely new episode. Don't be a glacier thinker. With new episode. Okay. You mean seals? No. Like going to clubs. Clubbing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how are those Brian steak tips? Oh, it's a party. It's a big old party time. Okay, great. So then Quinn is captured. Uh, they don't understand him. They're confused by his actions. And they lock him up in like a primitive jail. Yeah, good, good, good. Um, so then Quinn, to try to escape, tries to build an empathic transmitter, right? So he can contact Pharaoh. But Quinn is caught in the act. Are you texting someone from underneath the table? No. Quinn realizes he's completely alone, right? Cut off from his friends, from his ship, everything that makes sense to him. And so he walks up to the cage door. He stands tall. He looks at the, he looks at the guard, like directly in the eyes. And he says, we come from completely different worlds. Mine is a world of of logic and imagination. Yours is a world of crude materialism and, and pettiness. Are you better dressed than I am? Okay. Sure. But as I stand here in my sweat-soaked shirt, I can tell you're really not impressed by me. But I don't care. Because on my world, I am desirable. The equivalent of one of your primitive celebrities or chieftains or whatever it is you and your kind worship. So don't pity me. Because I've helped people travel 
to different universes, places you couldn't even imagine. I am powerful and I am potent. So let's split the check, go our separate ways, and let's continue not really talking to each other. And then, so his captors sense his inner strength and fortitude and they, they set him free. And so he leaves and that's the end. Got it. This is great stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna take out the part about uh, splitting the check. Yeah. And also my wife wanted me to tell you that she's not going to introduce you to any more of her friends. I'm sorry. Does your wife have friends that aren't, that are better dates? Are you screaming in a restaurant? She has stupid friends. Okay. You think you can do this to me? I know my rights. I know what I'm entitled to. I asked for more bread. I'm gonna get more bread. 